I'm Ben Barnes, as I said earlier, I run the Business Intelligence Unit uh, at Hewlett Packard. We want to continue to be the best BI infrastructure provider on the market. Many of you may not know this, but IDC in a survey has indicated that HP, along with its partners such as Oracle, and Business Object, and Cognos, and SAS, and others, do over 200,000 data warehousing business intelligence implementations every year and generate billions of dollars in revenues. And we're not going to lose focus on that. What we're talking about today, though, is entering in a new world of the next data warehouse, the next generation data warehouse. We're not going to lose our focus on the on being the best infrastructure player. Second is uh, partnering, and I'll talk about partnering on the next chart. But we believe in choice. We believe users ought to be able to use the tools they've already acquired and that they've trained their users on. Or if they haven't done that, they can look at all the tools that are out there and select the right ones. So we're going to have a great partnering strategy, and you'll see at least some of those partners in the following chart. And then we also recognize, particularly products like NeoView, big high-end data warehousing products are not shrink wrap software that we simply deliver, have you plug it in and say goodbye. Often you need expertise on how to use the product, when to use the product. I'm here, I want to be there, you need that kind of expertise and you're going to get Rod talk about We're that. unveiling a product called NeoView and I'm going to talk about that on several slides. Uh, one, we call, call it the next generation data warehousing platform. And what do we mean by next generation? Next generation, number, in our mind, thinks about moving from silos of information to moving on an enterprise-wide view of information. Having all the information that the company of the enterprise generates and being able to analyze it. And you're going to see a perfect example of that uh, in how we're doing that internally within in Hewlett Packard. It's also addressing the number one need of the CIO. If you look at the last two surveys, 05 and 06, done by Gardner Group, the number one priority for the CIO community is using information and business intelligence. It's also a big market. Why are we doing this? Depending on, again, whose numbers you want to use, it's about a $50 billion market, growing about 10% per year for the next four years, according to industry analysts. So it's a big growth initiative. It also plays to our portfolio, because that $50 billion is made up of hardware, servers and storage, software and services. We happen to have all of those within our portfolio. Why did we decide to invest in a product called NeoView? A couple of you asked me, did we develop this internally or did we buy it? No, it's developed internally. Uh, it's been in, in development in, in some form or fashion probably the last year and a half to two years. So why did we do that? Number one, we felt like there were four primary things that were not being addressed by the current marketplace and the current products and the current vendors. When I go to a CEO or CIO or COO and ask them and tell them about NeoView, one of the first things they want to know about is, is it cost effective? Does it have better price performance? And many times COOs are asked every day to do more with less. And so this is an important aspect. We felt like if by building this on what we call redeployable assets, this is runs on our integrity servers that we sell thousands of. And we're going to continue to have a roadmap to have this product run on all the different servers, our, our, <coughs> some of our servers that we sell by the thousands. So we can provide this at a very low cost, therefore provide it at a very attractive price to our customers. It scales. It not only can scale in terms of large databases, a lot of people get enamored by, gee, I've got a 50 terabyte database or a 100 terabyte database. You're going to see later that one of the things you have to think about is what are you doing with that database? I can run a 100 terabyte database on one processor with a lot of disk if I'm going to ask it one question a year. What about when I want to have 100 users, or in, or in HP's case, 50,000 users going after hundreds of terabytes? It's a different type of scale than we talked about in the past. And it needs to be optimized for what we call niche workloads. Today, most multinational companies don't have a batch window anymore. If you operate in Asia, in Europe, and the Americas, you don't have a batch window. We were talking about that last night. You, it, it, even, even in the United States, your batch window shrinks as you acquire companies from the East Coast to the, the Central Time Zone, the Mountain, and the Pacific. So you don't have that batch window. So this machine has been designed not to, but to be able to load data and do queries at the same time. 
It's also, if you're going to have 50,000 people in an organization or 1,000 accessing it on a daily basis, do you think reliability is important? Well, of course it is. The days of the data warehouse that was in a corner where 10 people kind of accessed it, if it went down or you had to load it or recover it or whatever, you know, those 10 people were inconvenienced but didn't shut the company down. If 50,000 people can't get it to do their work, it's mission critical. So this product has been born, as you'll see later, that the notion of this product comes out of the, the foundation of, of the nonstop technology that we have within Hewlett Packard. And finally, can we make this thing a little bit less complex? Now, I don't want to kid you that when you put in a multi-hundred terabyte system for 50,000 people, that this is a somewhat complex project. But we do deliver this machine pre-configured, pre-loaded, and pre-tested so that it can hit the ground running in a very short period of time. What is NeoView specifically? One, it's an integrated hardware, software, and services platform. Optimized for decision support. Key word here. It has its own relational database built on the foundation of the nonstop SQL database, but optimized over the last year and a half with a fairly large investment by the company to be focused on decision support. It is not a general purpose database, not meant to be one. That's what Oracle does, and that's what IBM does, and that's what SQL Server does. This is a database specifically focused on decision support. Lots of queries, lots of data. It can scale. Today in the, in the announcement, we're releasing it with 256 processors, but the architecture design of the machine allows us to go up to 1,024 processors in the future. And it's built on standard components. 